Okay, before we hit the streets, let's grab ourselves some gear. Every battle requires a deck of 20 cards. As you build your collection, new combinations become available. Now, of course, you're going to need a weapon. Each gun in City Wars comes with its own special modifiers. And finally, we'll grab a charm. Your charm hangs from the battle track during the fight and provides you with a unique perk. City Wars is more than just a game of cards and abilities. It's also a game of physical space. Cards are played onto your half of the battle track and come in different durations. The lights at the top of each card dictate its length. Playing an attack onto the track causes the blue damage values to get stored. Try to build those damage tallies as high as possible. Countering an opponent is easy. Notice that yellow number at the top of the card. That indicates accuracy. Think of it a bit like card strength. Place an attack with a higher accuracy opposite an opponent to shatter it and cancel their damage. Over the course of the card phase, players take turns laying attacks, building their damage and trying to shatter their opponent's attacks. Now it's time for the combat phase, where guns are drawn and damage is dealt. The damage trigger moves across the battle track, triggering attacks and lowering each player's health. Now sometimes attacks trigger a time strike, where a timed button press fills your faction power gauge. You can use this power to spawn a shield and block incoming attacks. If both players are still standing at the end of the combat phase, another card phase begins. Now let's look at the game's various card types and strategies. Silver advanced cards are contextual. For example, a sonar strike attack gets an accuracy and damage boost when connected to the start of the battle track. My opponent's Accumulator card gets a damage buff when played from the bank slot. The bank slot stores a card for later use and also provides an accuracy boost. Green utility cards are single-use gadgets, like this grappling hook, which lets me steal an opponent's banked card. Utility cards don't take a turn when played, leaving you free to choose another card. This can be great for creating combos. For example, I can now play the advanced card I've just stolen, and even receive its buff. Gold critical cards trigger powerful effects. The Hailstorm critical spawns a frozen block on your opponent's battle track, restricting track placement. Utilities can also be used to manipulate the battle track. Use a fixer to repair gaps and allow for counters. Or throw a breaker grenade to disrupt your opponent. Pink support cards are passive cards that can complement your deck. The Medbot shield not only blocks opposing attacks, but also regains health when triggered in combat. Criticals don't only affect the track. For example, Lightning Airstrike lets you reduce the accuracy of your opponent's hand. Because the battle plays out from left to right, the priority of your attacks becomes key. Healing early can keep you in the fight, and timing your faction power can stop you taking vital damage. Also remember, the combination of your gun, charm and deck creates a loadout that's unique to you. This is just a basic example of how a battle can play out. City Wars features over 140 cards, each with their own outcomes, counters and strategies. Wishlist on Steam for release news and take part in the game's beta.